So let's take a look at how we figure out which rotation we need to do. So remember our violations. Here's our grandparent, here's our parent, and here's the node that's causing the trouble. So in this case, then the node that's causing the trouble is a left, it's a left child, and in this case, the parent is also a left child. So if the parent is a left child and we're a left child, then we need to do a right rotation. Okay. In contrast, if our parent is a right child and we're a right child, we need to do a left rotation. If our parent is a left child and we are a right child, we need to do a left, right rotation. And if our parent is a right child and we are a left child, we need to do a right, left rotation. So our rotation method is going to look at whether we're a left child and whether our parents are left child. And depending on which one it is, we're going to call left rotation, right rotation, left right, or right left. So let's take a look and see how that would look. So we're going to have public. We're not going to return anything. And we're going to have a rotate. And we're going to take the node that's causing the violation because we need to know are we a left child and is our parent a left child? So let's deal with the cases that we are a left child. So either we're going to do a right rotation or we're going to do a right left rotation. So if node is left child, Then we need to ask, what's the situation with our parent? So if node.parent is left child, now we're a left child and our parent is a left child. So we're going to do a right rotation. So we're going to do a right rotate and remember that when we do the rotation the node that has to pay for the trouble we've caused is not our parents but it's our grandparents and so we're going to pass in the grandparent node so node dot parent dot parent that's our grandparent that's what's going to have to do the right rotation to correct our mistakes. Remember also that after a rotation, we become red, our parent, so we become red, our parent becomes black, and our aunt, sorry, our sibling, not our aunt, our sibling is also red. Okay, so after the rotation, we need to correct the colors. So we're going to correct node dot black is going to be false. Node dot parent dot black is going to be true. So we set us to red, our parent to black. And then if possible, we set our sibling to red. And so if node.parent.right is not equal to null, node.parent.right.black is false. Okay? So we set us to be red, our parent to be black, and 
our sibling to be read. And we can get out of there and we're done. So that's the situation if we do a right rotate. What about for a left right rotate? So if node is left child and node.parent is not the left child, so the node is the left child and the node.parent is the right child, we have to do a right left rotate. So we're going to do a right left rotate, rotate, and we're going to pass in the grandparent because that's the node that, that fixes the problems that we caused. But after a right left rotate, because we've changed things, the node we start at is the new parent and becomes black. And the, sibling, the children of the node we start at become red. So in this case, we set node dot black equal to true. And we set node dot right dot black equal to false. And node dot left dot black equal to false. So the node that we start at, because we've done a right-left rotate, the node that we start at becomes the new parent. The median value of these three nodes is the, the node down here. That's the node that we're going to end up being when we, after doing the right-left rotate. Okay? So we set that to black and our children to red. So that's how we handle the left child of a rotate method. We're done here, okay? You need to also write how to handle the right child. It's the same. We know no dot is left child is false, so we know that we are, we are a right child. So the way that we handle the right child is basically the same, but of course we don't do a right rotate, we do a left rotate. We don't do a right-left rotate, we do a left-right rotate. So you can take this code, use it as a template to handle the situation where you have to figure out the rotations for the right child of the tree.